Okay, so now I'm gonna go over how I did the grid. Again, um, I'll draw it. Um, so I am using six letters and I'm, each of my boxes are gonna measure one and a half by two inches. So it's gonna be nine inches across, like that. And then I'm doing two inches, so I'm gonna come down here, do two inches. Two inches, and I'm gonna mark nine inches again. Don't worry if your line doesn't come out straight the first time, just erase it and do it over. Okay, so then I'm gonna mark out one and a half inches along. So I'm going one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, and I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom so my lines meet, at the, meet up at the same points. Um, so I'm gonna go one and a half, three, three and a, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine. And I'm just gonna match all of those lines. boxes are nice and even like that and then what I did is from the end of each box so I come at the end of each box and I measure a quarter inch inside so I'm gonna put a line here and here and here and this is so the letters do not touch okay I'm just gonna lightly, I didn't do this lightly before, but I'm gonna lightly run the ruler through those lines. Okay, and this is so that my letters do not touch. Okay, so I'm gonna go over bubble letters now. And I keep my paper right on the side of me so that I can see what I'm doing. And you could see, you don't need the ruler for this, um, but it's the same concept, okay? I'm going to curve my line. I'm going to curve it up. my A and my N is fairly simple. And my D again is fairly simple. You want to leave the edge of the D straight so that you can differentiate between a D and an O. D, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my R. And 
And lastly, I'm going to do my S. Again with the S, you go back and you see where it needs to be fixed. And that's my bubble letters. So that's two lettering samples done.